Someone said to me I was an enormous idiot. I, I, would, I would say thank you very much. Well, I got the idea for uh, my book, Ignorance is Bliss. Uh, pretty much for my own, my own life, I was sad and confused, and uh, I was trying to find a solution. And eventually I re realized that um, uh, admitting you have a problem isn't the solution, it's the problem. Uh, so when you think about something, you're just causing damage to yourself. I thought a lot about thinking and uh, I eventually decided it was best not to think. My slogan is, a mind is a terrible thing. Unfortunately, since we came down from uh, uh, the trees, uh, the society forces you to think at a very young age. So. You have to instill a willful stupidity, which, which is ignorance. If you saw a herd of, of cows, people think cows are stupid, I think it's generally agreed. Uh, would those cows be happier knowing that they were cows and that they would be milked and then slaughtered? No, they wouldn't be happier from that. Uh, so why would people be happier uh, knowing uh, that their life is pointless? It's actually thinking that's caused all the damage. You don't see uh, fish. Uh, burning uh, coal, for example, or, or creating missiles. Fish swim and they do it well. Uh, but it's actually, I think, intelligence that has gotten people into trouble. And we'd all be a lot better off if we just stopped doing that. You have to retrain yourself to stop thinking, to stop wondering. And my book, of course, has a, a seven-step uh, program to, to relieve you of thinking. And not only just thinking, emotions as well. You could be back to being a true idiot uh, within a week. Stop thinking. Uh, is the first step of my program. It's probably the simplest and the, the most important because uh, uh, if you want to become stupid and ignorant, uh, the first thing you have to do is, is stop thoughts from entering your brain. You're drunk and you drive a car and, and you uh, have an accident. Uh, the natural uh, inclination is to blame yourself for this when it's not your fault. And when you blame yourself, then you start thinking again. So you have to stop that. Instead, you shift the blame to things like the bar forcing you to drink. Um, car companies for uh, creating cars that can damage telephone poles and um, especially uh, the telephone companies uh, for putting telephone poles on the road which you could run into. Once you let go of emotions uh, and you've stopped thinking, then you have to stop uh, feeling things like, um, like love. If you build walls, they will be stuck outside uh, forever. Most people think that challenge is good, but, but challenge is, is bad. Uh, when children are told that they can be anything they want to be, uh, it's just a lifetime of tragedy. They're told that, that they can be smart, that they can be, be handsome or pretty. If you go to a shopping mall and look at the children, most of them uh, are stupid and ugly. The most important thing to do about denying is to deny to yourself that you have denied. It's a very hard mental state to be in. Uh, so once you deny something because you have to protect yourself, then you have to quickly forget that you ever denied anything. If you do manage to, uh, to reach that moment of pure stupidity, you will actually never know it.